Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a change of scenery for you guys because I decided it's probably easier to bring my equipment here than it is to go back and forth between the two places. So no puzzles in the background for you today, but I can introduce you to my sofa, which I got as a birthday gift from my grandma when I was 18 years old. And when my dad moved out, he took it with him. So that's basically mine. Like I still claim this as mine, even though my dad has it for like I don't know, 10 years. <laughs> I really like this sofa, it was basically a perfect fit for my room. But anyway, let's talk about the puzzle now. So the puzzle I'm doing today, it's a thousand piece puzzle by Prime 3D and the title of this one is Stuck for Life Bunny. I've had this puzzle for quite a while actually and I got it from my puzzle contact, the dangerous one, you know, because he gives me free puzzles so it's really difficult to say no to them. But I was actually quite scared of doing it because of all the background. It doesn't have color blocks that would be easy to follow beside the red one and the white one. So I'm just hoping that the bunny takes like the majority of the puzzle. So there's not that much background left, but we are gonna have to find out, I guess. And the reason why I decided to do this puzzle as a video is because when Donna Louise first contacted me, we didn't really know what to do, you know, to collaborate. And we both had this puzzle and she already done her video. And we were thinking to maybe, you know, that I record the video and we compare the times. I'm actually quite glad that we didn't do it because I think that the battle of the YouTube puzzlers that, you know, ended up happening was way better because it had so many people and it was just so much fun. And at the end of the day, I'm still doing this puzzle today, so we are basically getting everything. I wasn't really sure which technique to use for this puzzle because I always do the full sort, then I do the frame and then I start building. And because I'm getting ready for the competition, I kind of want to try like different things. So I wanted to do like build as you sort. And I was going through the box and like eliminating pieces. And then I was like, oh, scrap that. I'm just gonna find all the right pieces I can find and, you know, start to put the t-shirt together from the bunny. And I'm scrambling through the box and collecting the red pieces and then I've got like quite a big chunk of the red pieces on the board and start to assemble it and it was actually a lot more difficult than I thought it's gonna be because like I have this thought in my head like if I'm not completely sure that all the pieces are there then every time I get stuck with the piece I'm like oh what if that's the piece that's missing because I didn't do the full sort and I think that's also a part of the reason why I normally do full sort because then I can be certain that all of the puzzles are there, you know. If I know that a puzzle has a missing piece as well, then every time I get stuck, like, oh, there's the missing piece right there. And it's not. <laughs> In the majority of the cases, it's not. But like every time I get stuck, I'm like, oh, that's probably the missing piece. And I think that's the reason why build as you sort is kind of difficult for me, unless it's like a really obvious, like, pieces that connect together and I'm not really sure if this technique is gonna work for me but you know I wanted to try it anyway like I'm gonna try all different techniques from now on because like I just want to be ready for the competition and see what I can actually do and be good at but it was quite difficult to start with the t-shirt because I had no idea like the size of it I didn't even know where to begin with so it was like yeah definitely not my proudest moment <laughs> let's just say that but the frame was actually quite easy, like easier than I expected because I think that the prongs are quite specific. So even when I had like the line of the same pieces, like literally the same colored pieces, I knew where something went because it's distinguished enough, which is a good sign. And I think I've done two of the Prime 3D puzzles before with the same quality pieces. It was the Paris one and the Canada Day one. And with both, they had really dark sky and the shape of the pieces really helped when putting the sky together so hopefully with this puzzle as well that's gonna be the case
I didn't announce that my phone died, but I basically finished the bunny. And oh my god, this was so much harder than I thought it's gonna be. I basically thought that I, bunny is gonna be the easiest part of the puzzle. And if this was difficult, what's gonna happen with the rest of the puzzle? Like, I don't even wanna know. It literally took me three and a half hours to get to the point where I'm at now. And oh god. I'm like, just the thought of doing the background. Ugh. Oh, it makes me wanna, you know, stop doing the puzzle. <laughs> But I'm gonna keep going, I wanna see how it goes, but I don't know. It just doesn't look good right now, honestly. Like, it's a bit exhausting when something that you thought is gonna be the easiest part of the puzzle is so difficult and then you're just like, oh my god, why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> what I did realize when doing the puzzle is basically that like the plain, well the plain white pieces, they are not really plain because they all have like color changes, which helps actually. <laughs> but those plain white pieces are actually easier to assemble than the ones that have like black lines going through because with the black lines it's just so difficult to actually know where something is turned and all of that and i think it just confused me more so i think when i had like big sections of white that was like the easiest part of putting this puzzle together so far Okay, I have to admit something. I was definitely wrong about this puzzle. The bunny is not the easiest part of the puzzle. From what I've seen so far is like the background is quite a lot easier and it probably has to do with what I was talking about earlier, like when there's no lines going through, it's actually easier to know where the pieces go because you can see like a slight change in the color and so you've got some textures on the wall as well. So, so far I've been doing a background for an hour and I think I've done quite a lot actually. And what also helps is that obviously I've got the frame going around, I've got the bunny, so it kind of like separates the sections and then on one side you've got the chains going down and on the other side you've got the pole coming down, so everything kind of breaks the background a bit, so it's not like you've got a full open space. And another thing that I've noticed with this puzzle that actually really helps is you know which direction the pieces are turned and that helps so much because like as soon as I saw one piece and I saw that it's elongated I knew it's not gonna go horizontal so that's something that definitely helps. I still have the darkest part of the background left so I have no idea how long that's gonna take but so far I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how well this puzzle is going. I must say I'm so pleasantly surprised with this puzzle, like I genuinely have no words for it. Probably because my expectations were really bad and I finished it in just over 5 hours, which I think is a really good time for a thousand piece puzzle, but I think what made it seem a lot easier is the fact that I prepared myself for this puzzle to take me at least 8 hours and more. And I think because I had these high expectations and I finished it so much quicker, it just seems like it was so easy. <laughs> I don't know, but it happened to me before that I had a puzzle that I thought was going to be really easy and then it just took me forever to finish it. And I think that the puzzle wasn't actually difficult, it's just because my expectations were so high and then I didn't meet them, it just made it seem more difficult. So I think the same thing happened with this puzzle. But yeah, it's actually done and I know that expectations can make a big difference when doing a puzzle and there is one puzzle that I got before I even had my channel and I got it because I thought it's gonna be really easy to assemble and let's just say that my expectations were completely wrong. So if you wanna see how I did it or not do it, just watch this video up next. Bye!